Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to root the Samsung Captivate that's running 2.3.3 Gingerbread. So this is the uh, leak version. Uh, hopefully you've watched my other video on getting 2.3.3 Gingerbread on here. And so uh, I do have 2.3.4 in that same video uh, to download and install, but... I would hold off on that because I haven't been able to find a root uh, method for that anyways. Besides, the 2.3.4 version enables um, Google Hangouts so to do uh, video conferencing or video calls, but that kind of defeats the purpose since this doesn't really have um, a front-facing camera anyway, so you're not really missing much in 2.3.4. Um, so just stick with 2.3.3 so you, you can uh, root this. Um, so I found uh, <clears throat> some very easy instructions here, and this link will be in the description. And so uh, we're going to need to set up our computer first before we download these necessary files. Uh, you got to make sure that you download and install the proper drivers for this. So uh, I'm on uh, Windows 7 64-bit, and so I downloaded the uh, Windows 7 drivers, and I have them here um, for the 64-bit uh, USB drivers for my Samsung Captivate or Galaxy S, as they call it here. Right, so I've unpacked it, just uh, double-clicked on it, and dragged the folder to the uh, desktop here. I'll go ahead and uh, click on setup and install right so uh, as always I usually like to plug in the phone first before anything to make sure everything works I should probably turn on the phone first so we'll wait for this to finish and uh, the phone is going to boot up here and I just want to make sure that the computer recognizes the phone installs the drivers in both um, in both a uh, USB mass storage mode as well as um, what else as well as the uh, um, USB debugging mode right so first things first I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it in and see what happens see if it comes up with anything mm -hmm. right so coming up with some uh, mm -hmm. Installing drivers here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull down this, the notifications bar here, and then right on it, uh, you'll see USB connected. So just click on that, right? And then uh, click on Connect Storage PC. So this is essentially mounting the, the uh, memory cards on the computer. And so if you see here, here's my internal um, memory and then the external card that I have on there, right? And then now I'm going to disconnect and now it's going to unmount my memory cards. So I clicked on disconnect, right? And then what I'm going to do now is actually go into settings, right? Settings. Then I'm going to go into applications and then manage application no uh, development right and then make sure USB debugging mode is checked actually it was already checked so I'm gonna uncheck it and you have to have the phone unplugged so then I'm gonna plug in the phone alright so now that I got that out of the way the computer recognizes the phone we can move on and we can go ahead and close all of this, go back to our instructions here. Right, so for this uh, root method to work, you have to download the rooted kernel. So just go ahead and click on that. And it takes you to this Mediafire file sharing uh, website. So you're just going to click on, uh, click here to start download from Mediafire. So then there's going to be a couple of pop ups popping up, and it's kind of uh, annoying, but you know, they got to get paid. It's free. Um, so we've downloaded the rooted file, and then we also need Odin, right? So you click on that, and then uh, you can click on the multi-upload, um, direct download, and then uh, pop-ups again. It's got to come down. So it's downloaded here. I've already got them on my desktop. So it's this file here. There's the Odin file, and there's the uh, rooted 
file that you need, right? So let me just have the instructions here on the side. See what it's saying. Right, so we gotta turn off the phone completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and power off the phone. Then it's gonna say Oh, you gotta put it in download mode. Now so um it's giving you instructions here by holding the volume down and the power buttons together for a few seconds. Um, that might work. It might not. Uh, it hasn't worked for me. And then there's another method too where you uh, take out the battery, right? Wait about 30 seconds, put the battery back in, hold the volume down button, right? And then plug in the USB cable. And that should put it in the download mode. For some reason, it doesn't work on mine. I can't get this thing into download mode. The only way I can get it into download mode is with this jig right here that I made. You can also purchase this off eBay or uh, some sites, um, some Android mobile sites, and uh, they sell them for like less than ten bucks, right? So you can get this very easily um, and a lot nicer looking than this. But uh, this, I have a jig. It's called a jig right so I go ahead and plug this in and when I plug this in the phone goes into download mode it shows a uh, Android and a little uh, shovel thing there and you can go ahead and unplug that right so now I'm in download mode now it wants me to open up the Odin program so I've gone ahead and double clicked and unpacked it so I'll just go ahead and start this up right so I've started the uh, Odin program <clears throat> now I'm gonna oh I was actually supposed to connect the cable first so let's hope that this comes up and again in download mode it's installing some drivers here right alright so once we get this green or a yellow uh, box here in the IDCOM it means we're good to go uh, the Odin program recognized the uh, phone right so then uh, now we're gonna click on PDA right and on the desktop is where we have this tar file, the i897uckf1 auto root design gears. So we're going to choose that, right? And then the Odin options here. Uh, it's asking for auto reboot and reset time is checked, and that's it. Then we click on the start button, and this should take. Uh, apparently less than 30 seconds so it says reset the phone is rebooting and it says pass so everything is good to go uh, my phone is now rooted I'm gonna go ahead and uh, download a program um, one good way to check to see if your phone is rooted is if there's an app on there now called a super user but to test to actually test it working super user working you can download a program called uh, Clockwork Mod or uh, ROM Manager, right? So I'm going to go ahead and download ROM Manager from the Marketplace. Alright, so I've downloaded and installed ROM Manager here. And uh, I'm going to click on uh, Flash Clock Clockwork Mod Recovery. And then uh, it's asking me what phone do I have. And I have the Samsung Galaxy S i9000, maybe, I suppose. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And so it's downloading and going to install. And then there you go. See, there's a super user. And it's counting down right there. And it's going to automatically uh, allow. So I clicked on allow. And then it says success. Uh, downloaded uh, clockwork mod recovery so essentially that basically it asks for super user um, account um, access and you granted it access I'll even go into the uh, super user 
uh, app right there. So go into there, and there's on the list there one uh, program that has super user abilities, and it's Raw Manager. So it's confirmed uh, this method works for rooting. I um, hope you found this uh, video useful. If you did, please comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe. Um, let me know if it worked for you. Hopefully it does. Hopefully you don't break your phone. By the way, I'm not responsible if you damage your phone or not. Neither is any of these fine folks that created all of this magical technology and software uh, to do any of this stuff. Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Jonathan Geek out. Peace!